Today I will show you my favorite technique on how you can instantly fix your overexposed video, specifically when the sky is completely blown out. You can turn it back in just a few minutes. I'm so pumped, can't wait to share this tip with you, let's jump right into it. Hey, what's up? My name is Arthur Weiner and my favorite way to fix this problem in your footage is to use the darken blending mode. What do I mean by that? Let's make it clear we're not talking about the video where almost everything is blown out. I mean, it's obviously unusable. We are talking about the footage with the white sky with no information and some bright areas in the foreground. All right, so how the darken blending mode can help us to fix this problem. At first, it's important to understand how does the darken blending mode works. According to photoshoptrainingchannel.com, the blending modes in the darken category will turn the result colors darker. Anything that is white in the blend layer will become invisible. Wait. No way. Oh. What if I... I think I have an idea. What if we replace everything's white with another sky? Hmm. Well, it's not really much of a secret because it's actually one of the sky replacement techniques, but it can be very helpful in fixing your overexposed video if used right. At first, we need to make sure that the sky is completely white. If it's not, then boost the highlights a little bit. Let's take the sky footage that looks very similar, it's important, very similar to the sky in the original shot. I found this footage on pexels.com. Change the blending mode to darken or darker color, but darken works best for me. And let's drag the luma curve effect on the sky footage. And here's the point. If we start making the image darker, the darker areas will pop out because of the darken blending mode. It's looking for the darker areas in these two clips and showing them in the final result. But if we make the image brighter, it will simply disappear. So, we need to find the perfect spot in the new sky layer where it's not too bright and not too dark to destroy the foreground. As a bad example, let's take another sky footage. You see, the sky is way too dark to work correctly, so we need to make it a lot brighter. And we start losing some details in the new sky, making the entire process useless. That is why it is essential to find the sky that is not too bright and not too dark. Now we need to mask out just the areas that we need. The result is already looking pretty Pretty good now. And by the way, for those of you who don't know me, I'm making videos here on YouTube all about filmmaking, or to be more specific, videography and video editing. So if you're into these topics, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. But we still have a problem here. The details in the trees and the hood on my jacket are getting to disappear. Luckily for us, it's an easy fix. Create a few points on the mask so we can see the full height of the trees and feather it up to about 200. I could also go around the hood on my jacket, but I'm actually okay with that. Now we can increase the contrast on the bottom layer, create a new adjustment layer and color grade it, throw your favorite lot on it and you're ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed this technique as much as I did. Keep in mind that it will not work with every shot. You have to understand how it works and shoot your footage correctly. If you do this, the technique will help you fix your video and make it even better. So that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this tip or found it helpful, make sure you hit a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.